Okay, let's begin. It's red. It is red for all the smoke. Oh, you guys are. Signed July 26th, August 16th, and 29th. Minutes. Uh, wow. Actually, no, we're, you're looking, you're approving September 9th, October 26th, and November 28th. Okay. That's a little more current. Okay. Okay. Motion. Second. Second. Accept all three. Second. Okay. Scheduled appointments, Comcast contract. Joy Palmer Fortune. Probably give a free control. <laughs> jump right into it. Um, well, I guess I'd start with Josh. I think you'll sign this. It took us long enough. Um, it's a good contract for yes, us. It increases the revenues, uh, uh, percentage-wise. It maintains what they're going to count as income. They, you know, try to chip away at that each year. So that we're, you know, we're we're at four point five percent of uh, of revenues uh, now is what we get to support our public access. Uh, it's going up to four point eight without a change in the language describing what's revenues. They try to slip some things in saying, oh, we're not gonna count this as revenue. So that's where our attorney was really worth. Is, and, and that was what some of the recent months of foot dragging was about. Um, we've got uh, infrastructure upgrades that, um, that like nobody else is getting, uh, took us a while to, to iron that out because it's the kind of thing they haven't done before. It makes us, um, and then so Comcast people put your fingers in ears. It makes us ready for HD. Um, we, they will not have to change any technology to make us HD. Now they won't make us HD anytime soon. They'll do it whenever the heck they please. But tech, we won't have to do any changing of our infrastructure to be able to broadcast in HD. In fact, our website, we're already broadcasting in HD. Um, it's, um, very similar, all the other portions of it are very similar to what we had last year. The main thing that's changed is section 6.3. Um, the one thing about that is it, it ties us together. Deerfield Center, Little Whitley, we are, you know, we're like, like the, if I could cross three fingers, I would be crossing three fingers. We're tied together with this, um, with a uh, main control in the facility in Deerfield. Deerfield has already signed the contract, um, by the way. Um, and uh, Sunderland is taking it up tonight. So I expect uh, by the end of tonight, all three towns will have signed, um, just because it's a good deal for the new infrastructure. We got this building getting a drop, got into this contract, we don't have to When's spend. When's that happen, by the way? Uh, I believe it's within six months yeah. of the signature of the contract. That's within six months of the effective date. Yep. Anyway, next, but I, I don't mean to cut you off. Uh, often they, uh, you know, last time when they, we get, you know, they, there was something like, oh, you have uh, 12 months from the date to get everything done, and it was April, well, they got it all done in July. Um, a drop is not ter terribly yeah. complicated. Well, no, that's yeah, why I'm wondering if there's any way to extra The fiber's right out here. Yeah, yeah. And the so, only problem would be digging in the ground when it's really it's frozen, but I'm, I'm sure they can find a way to do that. I think there's existing conduit in that. Yeah. Cool, there's so. a, yeah, I, I don't think they're going to delay any more anything. Um, if we could work on that. I don't know who's, who has the, the yeah. pull, but. But I, I don't, I, yeah, on, once once they've got their marching orders, they, they are usually pretty good. That so um, yeah, I'm sorry it took so long, um, but it's a, a good contract, and I hope you will sign it. How long do you say it was for? <clears throat> it's for ten years. Wow. Good. Um, and it may, it may for us be ten years from 2017 because technically our contract isn't until 2017. Deerfield and Sunderland's ended a year, no, two years ago roughly. Um, so theirs will be uh, effective right away. Uh, this will be effective right away, but our, somehow our end date, they insisted our end date is later. I, that part I didn't get into. It's the same thing that we did last time. Um, the, we tried to take advantage of uh, negotiating together as a group, which is a larger number of subscribers, um, and then three people sharing the cost of the attorney as well, or three towns, I should say, uh, proportionally take, uh, taking the cost of the attorney. Mm -hmm. So proportional by... Uh, and you just use subscriber numbers. Mm -hmm. um, so that uh, the towns with more people and more subscribers are actually paying more of the attorney's bill. Good. So when you say HD, that, that'll be Comcast um, like, over the cable? <coughs> yes, right now if you look at channel 12, the signal quality is, the picture quality is not that great because it's actually being broadcast as an analog signal. I mean, taking the analog signal and digitizing it, because everybody's got a little digital set-top thing, but they take an analog signal and they, they just 
Don't get me started on that. Well, the light but, but and pretty much well. every other channel you look at is mm -hmm. HD. Oh, okay. Uh, and really nice quality. Okay. So when we get our drop, that's when our channel 15 will come back. We'll that's when you'll be able to get a live shot out of here. That's uh, yeah, channel 15 should be there. Though. No, it's. Well, we've been having some problems with that, as a matter of fact. I've been battling with Comcast. I think we have a problem with the computer downstairs, because every time we fix it, reset it, a couple days later, if there's a power drop or whatever, it goes down. So we've been having problems with 15, and I've been dealing with that with Comcast. They say that it's a, a software problem in the computer, but every time I reset it, it's up fine for a while, and it goes back down. So can either, either party get out of this contract within 10 years? I don't think. I don't believe so. I I don't know. I don't remember seeing any clause in there about if we want to be out of this early, uh, we can be out of it early. Or for Comcast to cancel it within the ten years. I think they so. would have to honor this. Yeah. Uh, there's I I went through the whole thing. I don't remember ever seeing an escape clause. The only, the only real concern I think is that if if people quote unquote cut the cord, more people get you know, drop Comcast as a service, that could impact the revenues. But con the, correct me if I'm wrong, but the contract itself is specific on the revenue. Yeah. So they would have to find a way to keep that money flowing. You know, what, the amount of the total Yeah, I mean, the, the amount of money that we get and the amount of money that, that FCAT gets, the bills that you guys have coming in is based on the number of subscribers. Right. And their, the revenues. Right. right. If the, the if the subscribers numbers drop, yeah, then it could affect our the revenue. Drop. Of course, right. makes sense because it's a percentage. Of course, right. but the revenue itself, that as you mentioned in the contract, is they have to honor. Right. Good right. Which makes sense. But the capital money we're talking about as well. They, yeah, they, the, they have to come through with that. Yeah, the capital mm -hmm. is very good. Okay. I think we sign each one of these as long as we're okay. Okay, with well, them. Okay. I really am kind of creeped out by this, you guys. I don't know. You're creeped out by it? No, the, the red. red. The, hey. Um, so where's the reset? Okay, so. All right. So we sign all three copies? Yes, they have yes, three copies. Should we talk one the side letter? Oh, yes. Uh, um, and I hope you'll sign the side letter, too. That uh, basically it says whenever they give um, uh, some other town, HD, they've got to give it to us. They've agreed to that, but they won't put that language in the contract for reasons that they have tried to explain to me many, many times, and I still don't really understand why. But uh, our attorney uh, tells me that side letter is the best we're going to get on that. Um, I think there is an exception for one town in Western Mass. I can't remember if it's Long Meadow or East Long Meadow. Long Meadow? Um, because they are sort of the testing ground for Comcast on various things. So they don't want to commit to having everybody get HD if they test it out someplace and then decide they don't want to do it. So that's what that's all about. It's uh, it, it's nothing if we you know if they may never give us a, HD. Why wouldn't they want to cross them? Off? It would it would I think it would cost them more to upgrade everybody to HD. Plus they have to move a bunch of channels around. But they made they're making their 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 uh, customers go all to HD. This, I, I have all the customers have to go digital. Right. Which is HD. Which, is which may be HD. There are, there are HD happen. channels in the digital system. In other words, you have some channels that are HD, some channels that are standard definition. Uh, for example, you Not know, a lot. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if channel 3 out of Hartford is on channel 3, it's also on channel 803, which is the HD channel. Right, but now 3 is with the new thing that I had to get. And when you go to 3 or 803, guess what? It goes right to 803. It goes right to 803. Right. I know. That's, that's the newest part. It defaults to... So they're made, that's, that's an evolution. Why do you have to get that? Because yeah, it's... The FCC said something. Yeah. It's money. I had to. I had to. You're going to have to at some point. Huh. Mine goes like as 200 or something. 240. Yeah, I, yeah. It's going to... They're going to make everybody go HD. It's also possible. Box or something? Yeah. yeah. If we go to HD, if they if they finally do, we also may have to move the channels to actually move to an HD area, like the eleven hundreds or something. Yeah, I mean, and that, now with the new one, all new boxes, you can just say, "Hey, access into your remote control." 
and it'll take you there. So you don't have to learn anything, which is beautiful. Yeah, it, no, I, I have to like it. Yeah. Okay. As an educator, I'm disturbed by that sentence. <laughs> okay. As a 53-year-old, so, you don't have to learn anything new. Uh, <laughs> so we're manipulating we're done with us? We yes, we're good. Copies and the copy on signed copy of the site letter. Okay. They're all done. We are all set. Good work, up. Okay. Okay. You, you guys are awesome. Good work. Good. All right. Okay. I'm going to run off and get a, a 6:30 meeting in East Hampton. So. Okay. I got seven. I might, be late. I might be late. I think I told them that. In, in my short time. In here, East Hampton. Where are you going? I'm not telling you on TV. Um, in my short time here, I know Joyce has put a lot of work on this. So. I, oh yeah, I'm absolutely. Sure yeah. I will. Uh, okay. Kudos. So, Kudos. Mr. Kudos Chairman, should her. we go to new business before six fifteen is up for John? Or but could I just ask? Uh, I mean, other thing we signed the, the locations. We got the uh, Whaley Center School, and and still the the town hall is hooked up for Comcast. Is we'll have true? cable drops there. Yes. Is and there's one there today, yep. both in Billy, so that will continue on yep. this. Yeah, I mean, I, I would like to see that the center school head in moved, but that's not anything that's going to happen right away. But right now, that's that's where your your head end is located, where the 50 comes through there. We have a, okay. a setup down there. So when that comes into this building, you will take it out of that one. I, I don't know if, if that's going to work that way, but. They're going to be able to be able to live from this room. That's as much as I know. But the head end itself is at that school. I just I would like to see that move maybe to the, the, the elementary school, but that's a separate deal. Okay, we're right on time with John. You're up. I'm up. Now that I see what John's wearing, I can make sure that he buys a Frontier well, he's a baseball shirt and a Sprint shirt. I don't have a baseball shirt. I'm going to sell you one. Don't worry. Okay. You're wearing red. That's all that matters. It looks like everybody but Brian's wearing red. Nobody told me. <laughs> um, this is in relation to the uh, open burning notice that we had put together. Mm -hmm. And um, the last meeting it was asked that, that we would come back and talk about it. Okay. So here you are. Well, here I am. So, did you make them copies, Brian? They should have copies in their packet. No, we should have copies. Yes. So to refresh your memory back <clears throat> last spring when they had red flag days, that there was no yes, burning at all. Yeah. Way the fire department did six illegal burns calls in like three days. And the problem is, um, if one of these fires gets away and burns somebody's house down, maybe it's just the word isn't out. I, I don't I don't know what the real answer is. People just want to they want to burn when they want to burn. And if something happens, if this fire gets away and burns some of the neighbor's house or burned down, they feel bad. I mean, and there needs to be some sort of system in place, I believe, that one of your members told me this, that we should find them if, they, if we respond to an illegal burn. So, you're looking for a penalty. Um, I'm not opposed to that, I'm just asking. Yeah, yeah, that's what chapter forty-eight, section thirteen allows allows the um, the, the control authority. So in this case, the fire department to impose a penalty of up to two hundred uh, two hundred fifty two hundred fifty dollars um, and the cost of suppression, or up to is it one one year in prison without a permit. Oh no, well, you won't have a permit if it's illegal. If it's a red flag, okay. Okay. Yeah, I got that. Okay. So, so this applies to people that do not get a permit when the open burning is allowed, and if they don't get a burning permit anytime, Fred. Anytime, so even after May first, if they don't get a permit, this would still apply. So I'm the only one that controls them. Okay. And and if somebody wanted to open burn this Saturday, yep, they would need a permit even though there's. And I'm the only one that controls that. And if I'm away, Keith controls it. Shelburne control. You can't go through nope. Shelburne control. No, when you're out of open burning season, it's controlled by the fire chief. Right, but when it's oh. in open burning season, then it's controlled by shelter control. And remind us, authority. remind us when open burning season is again? May fifteenth. Uh, excuse me, January fifteenth to May first. Oh, so we haven't hit it yet. I, for some reason, I thought it was December fifteenth. I apologize. No. Okay. It's, it's, is this listed here? Yeah, first pair, first. Line. Okay, so this is a proposed policy oh, yeah. change. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Will this be posted somewhere now? 
website, Brian, so people mm -hmm. know there's a change? Can you put it in the bulletin section? Yeah, it will go on the website. And what's the what's the consequence for not paying the fine? I mean, we, we face it all the time with dog permits, mm -hmm. which are five dollars. Right. So, and they have to go to court if they procrastinate long enough. So, what's the what's the consequence? Just be saying Don made that from. I don't know. So, what you issue if once you determine that somebody is a first offender and you say, okay. You, you're fined fifty dollars. We'll have to get. Well, have, I'll have to create a, a fine book so that there's a record of it. Yeah, and they have so many days to pay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you would issue the fine, and they would pay it to the treasurer. That's me. Yeah, somebody. Yeah. yeah. Well, I would. I could accept it. But. And yeah, yeah, and then you would just fine. Yeah. What Do happens it? if they don't pay? Right. That's my question. That's a different question. I, I don't know really the answer. One, but it's an important one. I mean, we don't want to, we don't want to institute policies and then have no teeth behind it. Because right. you know, again, using the dog the dog license as the example, you know that if people are issued a fine, they will ignore it until they absolutely have to pay attention mm -hmm. to it. The, the, the next step after this, the next step after this will, will be would be Superior Court. Just like dog, just like the dog. Yes. And so we have that mechanism in place already. Yeah, because it, it, it's it's a violation of, of Mass Trial Law Chapter Forty Eight Section Thirteen. Okay, as long as that yeah. as long as that mechanism is in place already, that's, that's yeah, fine. we'll figure out that we'll figure out the specific pro we'll, we'll we'll clarify the specific process. We don't need to put that in the policy. I don't believe so. No. Well, okay. Is, uh, mass General Law. So. Okay. Okay. Do we um, need to make a motion on this? Yeah, I think so. We're adopting this. I would make a motion to adopt. The um, what's it called? The procedures open, laid out by the chief. Open burning. Open, open burning laws. laws and regulations. Right. Second. Done. Okay. okay. Thanks, Sean. Thank you. John, are you still working on the other permits? Or inspections and, and whatever for fire equipment and alarms and all that? I do them. Yes, I do that. But you proposed to change six months ago to us or something. Oh, that one? Yeah, I, I, that's on a back burner, but I haven't, um, I didn't bring that with me. Uh, I didn't know, I haven't updated that, right? I wrote them out, I just, there's a different folder. Okay, um, but I'm just. I will, I will, I'll bring that up on my, on the top of my screen, okay? Okay, <laughs> okay, right. Well, thanks, John. We don't know where we got a fire truck and safe trailer. Oh, right. Right. Surplus. So, so town meeting authorized the donation of these two items. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the it, would, it, it authorized the select board to donate those two items. So if the select board would so choose to donate those items. So donate. And we would Second. entertain okay. a motion to donate them to the Done. Willie Firefighters Association. Done. Correct? Okay. Yes. Yeah. All on agreement. Now we can make Thank them go away. Time. Now we can make them go away. However you like. No, yeah. I thought we were going to take those through that state bid list, <coughs> state sale list that we decided that. I don't call that. Mm -hmm. Not you mean that the uh, the auction list? Yeah. Yeah. They will. I'll, I'll get with Brian and figure out how the. Oh, we need the firefighters association to do that. Right. Yeah, yeah. We'll get with Brian and figure out how they yeah. actually put them on yeah. that list together. Right. right, but that's up to them. That's not. A, yeah, right. that's up to them. Right. Oh, I understand. Right. Okay. Okay. And one, can I bring up one more thing that's not on the agenda? Uh, for your special town meeting that was in this room, I believe this room was overwhelmed. Oops. You mean right after? Occupancy out. was overwhelmed. Not just the knowledge and everything that was in here, the, the number of bodies that were in this room. And I'm not sure whether it's my responsibility to <coughs> enforce that, but it might be. Um, should we have the building inspector figure out we how? Should, yeah. We yeah, should we know what the occupancy was. Right. Yeah. And we should post it. It should be posted. That way anybody that's here is like, okay, the person number 60 can't come in. We can right. choose who we want to have leave. <laughs> right. Uh, it, it, how are we doing? Let all of our stuff out of here. I know, <laughs> you, you, you're right. well, <laughs> I know if you go to any bar, it's my responsibility. Well, what I would like to see then, we still haven't, 
for those for those town meetings that are larger than this but smaller than needing to go to the school I believe we will have a bit larger space for the time being as part of this building so I'd be curious to see what the occupancy is for this and then the occupancy for I'm sure it's just square footage yet. right oh, right so if we could just have that posted so we would mm -hmm. we could know all right we're just gonna yeah. shuffle on over I think six, over 60 is too much for this room okay, but it won't be it won't be in the other room they can go by seven square feet per person for the town hall. Just a matter of interest, that's a false wall behind you. Yeah. <coughs> so, I don't know, seven per square foot. Oh, well, seven that. square feet per person <coughs> is what we're doing for the town hall. Okay. So, okay. Let's, um, you I'll know, let's just have it all posted everywhere. Yeah, I'll make a call for that. All right, good. Thanks, Thanks John. Thank you. Thanks again. We're coming up on burning work. season. We're coming up on burning season. Yeah, yeah. January fifth. Another month. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, where's my? Here we go. Chris Collins. Hey, Chris. Hey. It'll be six thirty. Is that okay? How's it going? Good. Are we okay? I think we're good. I'm well, it says six. I'm just. I don't think so. You want to start oh. soon, or you want to do other stuff? Let's just go to other stuff unless Chris has dinner. Well, we could dinner do public engagement. comment. We do public comment. Okay. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Chris? Um, a while back I sent Brian a, uh, a workup sheet of HP Communications estimate to take the three cameras that were in Deerfield and bring them over here and mount them along with uh, a small control panel. Uh, I, have, I think it's like 36. You have the number there in front of you. Um, 36,000. 36,000. Yeah, it's not cheap. And it's not something you have to do. I just I wanted to make sure you had the information. Those cameras aren't going anywhere. They're the cameras that were taken out of the airfield. The airfield replaced their equipment. They went HD. Wow. The rest, they're the rest of the cameras. Well, I mean, they, 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 uh, that money had been sitting in that capital account in that town for a while. And before Doug left, I thought, why not use it to upgrade the equipment? And it's a nice system that they have over there, but there's all this leftover surplus stuff that I just hate to throw it away. And I know that you guys have this nice new room, and it'd be good to be able to put some mounted cameras up and have a, a, a better facility. So when you do get the drop, we'll be able to have multi-camera angles. I mean, we do the best we can with the one camera. And we've been doing one camera shoots for you guys for years. I just thought, if you have some money in the capital account, and it was affordable, you might want to think about going this route. You don't have to, though. It's 36000 to install it. 36,000 to take the cameras, install it, and bring in some pieces that they need to have, like a recorder, like a modulator, a couple other things, some more new microphones um, to be able to cover this meeting the same way we covered Deerfield and Sunderland, basically. And that's, and that's strictly installation? Or are we actually buying surplus? No, the, 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 it's the installation of the Deerfield cameras plus some other equipment that you need to complete the whole package. What we're going to be putting in, if you guys agree with it, is essentially a self-contained unit that will allow us to run a meeting with full graphics, with three mounted camera angles, microphones, you know, good acoustic, uh, rather a good, uh, uh, what's the word I want to use? You know, better audio, good mixing, and, and everything in one spot to be able to, to run these shows live with multi-camera angles. Same thing that, that other towns have, and it's one of those things that I think you guys it would it would be good to do if you guys, if you guys decide that that's the best way to use that money. But it's certainly your choice. My only question is, what other purpose would that money? It's capital. Well, it's it's capital money that's that's sitting in an account. I'm not, I'm not sure what the balance is on your account right now. Uh, almost forty five thousand. So, what, but I guess my question would be, if not here, what else do you do with it? Not, nothing. Well, it's public access. I mean, the thing about this money is it can be used for public education and government. If you had to do some work on your website, for example, mm -hmm. if you had to do something related to the internet, something related to public information, that money is there for that. Can we, actually, that's a good question. Can we use that money to help us upgrade our our tech, our IT, our IT systems here? I don't know that that would. I'm not sure. Uh, I guess I would have to look at it, the law. But that's going to be an expense that we got around the corner. No, I get it. To, to grow up. 
I get it. And I don't know that how much, I, I don't know if you can use that for this, I'm not sure. I do know that it's public education and government related communication stuff. Well, that would be good government communication stuff, yeah. certainly. So, I mean, 36,000 seems like an awful lot of money for well, like, used equipment. When, when, Some uh, used equipment. when Deerfield did their full upgrade, it cost them close to 60,000. And that was for new, new cameras and everything else. Uh, these are three cameras we're going to repurpose, but there's other stuff that has to be bought as part of the unit. The other question is, where do you put that control room in this room? I mean, it's a great type of space as it is. I just wanted to bring it to your attention and, and allow you the option because I hate to see good technology and still usable go to waste if we can repurpose it somewhere well, else. Well, if, if, if the option is just good technology is going to go to waste if we don't use it, why does it cost so much? It costs to, to build the thing out the way we would want you would want to build it out for a three camera operation. Oh, so it's not the cameras themselves. Cost. No, the cameras are those are free. I mean, okay. It's, it's Got it. the other stuff that goes along with the wiring, for example, all the other stuff that goes into you have to have computer mon monitors to be able to monitor the three shots. It's, mm -hmm. If you've ever been to Sunderland or Deerfield, yeah. you, you, you know the setup. There. But it just strikes me, as, and I've I've seen. It. I mean, Sunderland is very very apparent. Deerfield yeah. is less so. And it just strikes me for wiring three cameras and buying whatever else. That's a lot of money. Yeah, it's not cheap. I didn't think it would be thirty six. I figured it'd be closer to twenty. But the, and, and Is like it I said, cool? I you could take stuff off that list, and I can go back to HP and ask them to trim it down. That's just their best guess. That's their that's their best estimate right now for what it would cost. I, I thought it was pricey myself, but you know, I okay. I just thought I'd bring it to you guys. Frank, and we don't want it to go to waste. Yeah. How, well, what's the shelf life on it, though, until the technology there's, is... There's, there's literally, those cameras are sitting over there in Deerfield. They can stay there for as long as we need. No, I, I guess I meant until the technology doesn't support it anymore because this, the technology has gone so much further than... I honestly don't know that... I think it'll be good for the 10 years of your contract, for okay. sure. I don't, I don't see a lot of things changing in that regard. I mean, and I just don't... And I think we'll get a... We'll get a is it 15000 up front once the contract is signed? So we'll get an additional 15000 Can we find out, though, what the, the, the use scope, the scope of use for that capital yes. budget yep. is, so that we know how much of the cost that we all know are coming down the pike in terms of upgrading our IT systems internally, how much can be used so that we don't spend ourselves out of something we have to do? Yep. Does this mean our cameraman doesn't have a job anymore? No, no. There'll be someone that would have to be able to run the thing. And we can still do, and we can still go live once we have the drop with one camera. I mean, I don't have any problem with staying that way. I just thought this would upgrade the quality a little bit of these broadcasts. No, no, you're still going to have a camera. We can go live with this. Yeah, once sure. we get the drop, and uh, that's what we did in, in the, the center school, you know, downstairs. Yes. You guys would go live, we throw a switch, boom. Theoretically, that's what's going to be going in here. We just move the camera over, <coughs> plug it in, bang, and you're live. I miss Chris, your, your point about, and I don't want to believe this too much personally, but your point about where do you put this stuff, because if you think about Sunderland, that's a pretty big space yeah, that they have. I was concerned camera. about was, was the, the, the sheer size of, of a console like that. And when I talked to the guy from HP, I said, it's got to be relatively small. He said, well, what do you mean? I said, this is not a big space. What is this room? 20 by 30? Yeah, it's, it's, you're talking about at least taking up one of the corners. Right. Yeah. And, and I was in here on an election day. And I saw how much every every inch of this area was used. Well, the it's town meeting. The town meeting. meeting. Yeah, town meeting as well. But that was over the fire. Evidently. Right, so, and we, that's not. So we'll be even. Ha it'll happen even quick, more quickly now. All right, that's good. Now let's get that information in. Are you guys good for that? Yeah. Yeah. I know. So let me just say, on the estimate, thirty-six thousand, almost twelve thousand is for installation. Yeah. Is that reasonable amount? Yeah. I mean, you have to. They think about the amount of wiring that has to happen. And they're coming in from the the far room. Yeah, but if you if you if you figure well, I don't know, hundred dollars an hour, that that's one hundred twenty hours, one hundred twenty person hours. So that's if three guys are here, they're going to be here a whole week. It's doing possible. all that. It's potentially. That's what it was for for Deerfield. It's a lot of a lot of wiring they have to do. How many cameras were they doing in Deerfield? Three. Oh, actually, four. Sorry. They're very meticulous. But isn't there wiring here already in the, in the building? Not for that system. Because <clears throat> what you're talking about is wiring the cameras into 
a, a brand new, you know, control system. I, I guess I would like to see it. We have this. I'd like to see a scaled down, not an elimination, but a yeah. scaled down of how. I go back and ask for scaled back. With using the three cameras still, but what? I mean, yeah. we're not. It's not ESPN here. Not yet. So. Uh, like I said, I was just I was bringing the information. I no, I appreciate that. that. Although it could be close to ESPN if you guys would cover the youth basketball games <laughs> this year, which you should, by the way. We're starting Frontier Basketball. Starting it'll it'll basketball. up your viewership. It's a bunch of fourth graders. Uh, All right. And, and if we decide to make this room bigger, will the cameras still work? Or well, that well, that's the thing. If you if you are you talking about pulling that wall out? Well, maybe. I guess that's an option. We yeah, haven't talked that, about it, but that's mm -hmm. one of those things. Once these things are, are mounted, they're mounted. Tough to move without having to go through a whole rigmarole. What's behind this wall? Again? Just the other office. Office. The other office. Another similar size. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we no, can move it back. And and if you wanted to some, move it, I don't know how ten high, feet that way, because some of them offices are going to be supposedly down yeah, by the windows. The I mean, if it's another variable. Get a new seat. Yeah. Shuffling. Mm -hmm. Well, no, one just. A, All right. Okay. The wall. We good. Okay. All right. To take that into the right? Do we yes. go back to HB and talk to them about scaling down? Mm -hmm. I don't know. How much are they really going to scale it down? I mean, it's worth the information at least. Yeah, I, 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 I can go back and ask them. Okay. Know, well, there's just six is too steep. We can see if we can back it back. Yeah. Okay. And those cameras aren't going anywhere, so we choose out the low the line to do it. Now, in Deerfield, the control center is not in the. No, they have a separate room. Right. They have an actual office where the server is, where their their all their the, the equipment is, and they have a second computer that they we had to go on. So, Could we do that here? Well, not well. Not unless, you have, unless you have a separate room. We have. We got space. We got space. Well, it's a possibility, I suppose. If, if, if we have to be around uh, off site, yeah. But I don't know if that affects the price or not. If we can well, find that, that'd be great. great. Yeah, I'll yeah. I'll go back and see if we can't uh, can't make it work. All okay. right, good. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Keep up the good work. Okay, okay. public comment. We're done. All business. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I talk about it. I don't. I don't particularly. But I, I have I have nothing to talk about with, with skims, okay. manganese. So, uh, mass, uh, mass DEP is reviewing the loan application that we submitted for um, they'll issue a, what is, I guess it's a notification or certificate of completeness to the Clean Water Drinking Trust saying that Mass DEP finds the application is in order. In order. Um, one, of, one of the things that they, that they flag on the application was it's not typical that the town administrator is authorized um, to sign the loan documents, and to sign the grant documents. Um, so oh, I guess what, we'll, what I'm gonna ask tonight is that we authorize the chairman. Um, it's, the same, uh, it's the same sheet, the authority to file and there's a certifying authority to file. It just says the, the chairman is authorized to Sign the loan application papers. Fine, but I don't understand where Mass DEP um, has the authority to tell us how we run our government. Um, they don't. Um, they just said it was unusual. And well, well it's it should be unusual. Right. And, and this is one option. Well, this is yeah. one option if they want to think because I don't. I don't necessarily know that we have to do it, but, but we can. I, I don't want it. I, I want this to happen. And if it's going to slow the thing yeah. down, it's. Not, I don't expect it to slow it down. Yeah. If, if, we, if we find efficient government works better with having our town administrator having, having signing authority over something we voted in, yeah. come on. I'm okay with if, that. If that's how we want to do it, then that's, then that's fine. That's how I I just wanted to bring that option to we'll us. We'll break it in. Okay. We're going to start a trend across the right. state. <laughs> okay. Devolution. Sure. Fine okay. by me. Good. <clears throat> New business. My agenda. Nice. Okay. Look at all this. It should oh. go quick because this one's going to be quick. Yeah, okay. Um, Keep this, keep this doing an analysis of whether it makes sense for the uh, the town to see if um, to see if it makes sense for the town to acquire ownership of the old of old state road. The reason being that it was it was just recently paved, and it would add the 
it would add additional miles to miles of road that the town owns that would increase chapter 90 funding ah. um, but well, I think he got caught up in the weather and plowing so um, what what I recommend is that we table that discussion for now yeah well, I mean we, I would like to know what, what kind of revenue we generate from Old State Road, who owns it? The diner does, right? Or, uh, or are you talking he to told me the state owns it. Oh, the state owns it. So yeah. we don't get any tax revenue. We get from nothing it. from it. It's not included in our Chapter 90 calculation, as what Keith told me. And we plow it and maintain it. No. Where are we talking about? Old State Road by uh, the diner. Parallel to the highway. Isn't that I thought, I thought you just said we did. Stuff? I don't know that was just yeah. paved. Isn't old, old State Road is the one that goes down to the um, this is the ground of the beach, and then it goes across 16. Well, you're talking different. No, that was Long, Long Plain, Old Long Plain Road. Old but State down to Track Town? Old State Road, I thought, was the road that went behind yeah, the diner. was part of it, and then it, it crossed. It crossed 116 by, somewhere. So well, down below the gas station, crossed and goes mm -hmm. down by uh, Deerfield Plastics. Well, yeah, Fox used to be a chemical plant. Is that so, anyways, yeah. that's that's what that agenda item was. We need to have a chance to okay. Fully that out. I think he's talking about down by the swimming hole. Yes, I believe so. That's okay. the part that they just that they just resurfaced. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we do plow that. We, I, I I believe he said that we do maintain it. We just don't well, own it, and they've just well. resurfaced it, so it's not going to need much work for. And it's good. It's good years. And when we privatize. Um, <laughs> Tritown Beach, it'll be perfect. Well, we can charge here. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just heard a rumor. I don't want to get into it though. All right, okay. let's let's move along. Then. Transfer station inspection report. Nice. Everything's good. Good. Annual inspection report. There's no recommended. Uh, oh, amazing. Okay. Would you like the town administrator to sign it, or do you want the chairman to sign it? Signature of responsible official. Between the two of you? Yeah, Can we say responsible? I don't care. I mean, I, think, I think the time administrator should always sign these kinds of things, so it's, it's more efficient and expeditious. Mm -hmm. But uh, we can serve responsible. APR Smith, 204 Long Plain Road. That, again, that's another item that, that I think we should table. Right now, there's going to be, um, or very soon, there's going to be an application to, this, to the CPC from the Ag Commission to um, fund the API for 204 Long Plant Road. Um, one of the things that, that needs to happen is that there needs to be a notification um, in the town of, of that taking place. It needs to happen at a select board meeting. Um, but in, in additional discussions that I had with um, Margaret Christie, there needs to be additional notification, a separate notification other than just a select board meeting. So we're gonna have to table that till the January meeting. What's the acreage on that? Um, I don't know. It has access? I believe so. I'm just curious. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, we'll have more information. Okay, all right, moving on. Next month. January meeting schedule. Right now, what is it? What is it, Mary? The January 3rd. The 3rd. And there was a request to move to the 9th, where we think maybe move to the 9th. It might be more prudent to move it to, to the 9th if you're available. No, no. It's on the 3rd. Why the week Monday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Third. And we so just had second, to move second it to the The second is New Year's holiday observed. Right. Oh, so it got bumped to the 3rd. Oh, okay. So we would meet the 9th and the 30th that month? Right, makes it a little more evenly spaced out. I guess why wouldn't we do that to begin with because it's the second Monday of the month? Be but because there was some concern because the 12th to, to oh, the, so, it, it, the time frame oh, is so long, but. I, I'm available. Sure, I guess. Okay, so the January 9th at six? Yep. And the 30th at, at six. six. Okay, approve and sign the following licenses. Let me talk about F.L. Roberts. Sure. Mary Ellen's been handling a lot of the licenses. What do we need for that? F.L. Roberts. You guys sent an email on this. 
Yeah. Yes, and you may have sent on that. Yeah. Um, and the suggestion is that the F.L. Roberts liquor license be conditionally approved. Right. Um, in order to facilitate the sale um, of the diner. I believe the original expectations of the party was that the license would be transferred. It hasn't been transferred yet. The license is going to expire to the year um, if they don't renew it. So the request has been made that they that we renew the license in order for Why wouldn't the transfer? That's What's fine. the downside of that? I don't believe that there's a downside. Right. Okay. But but and there's I believe there's a motion there, there's a motion in your packet so that we get the conditions. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's right here. And the conditions are such that a physical license would not be issued by the, would not be issued by the town, and that there will be no alcohol service until there's proof of um, liquor liability insurance or the license for the application to transfer has been submitted. They don't have proof of insurance, they, but they've had a liquor license. I'm confused. So they've wrapped up their business. Yeah. F.L. Roberts. And so the insurance could have no longer no no exist. They're not serving alcohol. Well, oh, they're not. Oh, okay. So if you know different, let me know. No, they're not. Okay. Um. So we're talking about the diner. Yeah. Okay, not the other uh, gas stations. Mm -hmm. And in conversations I had with town council, this is how they recommended. So, but but we're expecting that that they not that they're not going to do anything with this. So we just will be. But the permit exists, that, even though they, they don't exactly. have plans to change anything. That is exactly. The okay. Point. That's that's exactly the point. Okay. I I would move. To approve the 2017 liquor license for FL Roberts up to the following conditions, and it's spelled out yep. in public documents that people are more than happy to ask for at the window. Second. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I guess um, I don't have too much more information as part of the, if they still want the automatic amusement licenses or the, the common picture of our. Um, so I would hold off on uh, approving those two until I get some more information from the new company. Okay. Okay. And as far as the rest of the licenses, you've already approved the liquor licenses. Um, the ones you do need to approve, though, tonight, and then I have the licenses to sign, are an uh, in-holders license and common victualler for the Waitley Inn, uh, an, an enter entertainment license for castaways, um, hold off on the Northampton Cooperative Auction Barn because they have a new caterer there and I don't have any information on who that is at this time. But to approve one for Gary Clock, Clock at Tom's Long Dog and Grill, um, Waitley Rec with Phoebe and Wave there as, as in the past, and then a Class 1 license for Orchard Trailers and Waitley ve ve Vehicle Sales, and a Class 2 for Going Gray and Mark Batty Trucking doing, one, doing business as one call does it all. Okay. And the fees are staying the same? Yeah, they were already approved the fees. Right. Okay, what do we have to sign? All of that. Over here. We got a rack. Okay, so Mark, uh, Brian, sorry, maybe you want to start the administrator updates when we're sure. signing this. An update on the the progress of the merger between the, the water department and the water district. Um, commissioners have four proposals and they're going to be interviewing uh, the four engineers this Thursday. Um, we have a two hour block scheduled and we're going to ask them. They're scheduled to come in for a half hour block and we'll talk about the proposals. In terms of the upgrades to the, uh, the upgrades to the, the electrical upgrades to the highway garage, um, <laughs> Mark uh, Fussier. 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 Yeah. Fussier. Fussier. Um, he was the lowest price to do the electrical work. That his his uh, bid came in at $7,400. Um, so that's good. Who he's going to be doing the work there. And um, Keith's going to be buying some of the other supplies, so the cost is going to be a little bit higher than that. But the next low was the other bid that was received was for uh, 15000 just so over $15,000. So there was How much some, some was differences. Uh, 15750 Versus the low was? Um, seven thousand four hundred. Yikes! So you only get two bids. He didn't get two bids. Well, I hope more. Because it's under it's under ten thousand. So. Uh, town office. The the construction on the on the calm semi permanent walls back here are Which all set. Um, 
the door handles. I believe the true value is, is the locksmiths mm -hmm. are going to come in tomorrow to take a look at the handles and locks and the locks key to the existing keys. Again, the next or the next phase of the board will be to well, it kind of comes into play a little bit if we're thinking about moving this wall at all. But we have to figure out what the layout is going to be um, in terms of the offices and where they're going to be in space, and things like that. And that will lead into um, that will inform us as to what type of modular walls that we're going to need. So, those are the next, that's the next step there. Green Communities Grant. This is work going on at the elementary school. There's two projects that are going on. The energy control measures project that should be wrapping up uh, fairly soon. And the LED lighting retrofit project began today. Hopefully with the school empty, they were able to get a jump on some of the work. Both of those should, should be wrapping up at or near the end of the calendar year. And that will exhaust the budget? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Community compact. The town's community compact was approved by the lieutenant governor last week. And we are waiting on the details of when the signing is going to happen. Is this the one where they reduced the amount of money? Or is that something? So that's complete streets. Complete streets. Which I haven't received an update okay, on the uh, status of the funding. No, community compact, I don't believe, has any dollars with it. It just allows us to access dollars. Okay. Right. The housing trust bylaw. That was approved at the most recent special town meeting has been approved uh, has been has been submitted to the attorney general for approval. And once we receive approval of the attorney general, then the next step would be the appointment of the housing trustees by the board of selectmen. So they the attorney general has 90 days to review and make a decision on bylaw. Two items in, in relation to. Uh, with financial planning. Capital planning requests were sent out to all boards and departments. That was sent out in early November with the capital plan submissions requested by the end of the calendar year, so end of this month. And then the operations budget requests were sent out uh, last week with the, with the request that budgets be submitted by January 13th. And finally, in terms of the old town hall, the municipal building committee continues to work on uh, shoring up the designs with Jones Woodson. And I'm working with Donna Wiley and others to prepare an application to the Mass Cultural Facilities Fund. Uh, that application is due January 13th, and that will be something that we'll talk about uh, at the upcoming meeting in January. I don't know if there's anything, Fred, you want to add about that. But we, had to, we did have a meeting with uh, Steve Kulik this afternoon just to walk through the town hall and talk about talk about the project and, the, and he's, he's agreed to write a letter of support for the for the cultural facilities fund application. How much is that for you? Um, I believe that we set up to three hundred thousand for the cultural right? facility. Yeah, yeah, it was at two fifty. It was two hundred fifty or, or three hundred thousand, I believe. Yeah, required a match. So. One. Requires a one for one match. match. Well, we have that. Well, it depends if you can some you can is that the one you can use CPA funds for or not? I, I mix that one with a there, there's one you can there's one you can yeah, what's the other one? Uh, historic preservation one or something. I think preservation. that's the one you can and that's culture preservation facilities you can't. Culture facilities you, you cannot. You cannot. No. You cannot use, so, you cannot but, use CPA funds for right, that. but if I'm gonna use Hypothetical numbers here. <laughs> let's let's say that the project would cost twenty dollars. Yep. And CPA was going to cover ten. And cultural facilities was going to was going to cover three. And historical was going to cover another three. That would mean the town still would have to come up with four. That would be the match. Yeah. So the match is going to exist only, it will not exist if the town chooses not to expend any additional resources beyond CPA money for the project. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah, I guess you could, you could say that. Well, but, but CPA, but if you're to only use CPA money, you're, you're talking of a long term 
financing. I get that. I told that's why I said let's say the CPA covers X, the town might have to cover Y to fill the delta that CPA doesn't cover. Too many variables. Right. Well, that's that. Well, the way it's going now, being proposed, that that's most that will be a likely scenario. Okay. CPA will fund say eighty percent of it because that's all we're asking CPA to do. And the other 20% would be town funds. Right. Well, and if we have to provide a match anyway, then it, it's... Well, you're looking at 20% plus a match for the 80%, so it could be 40% of town funds. But one of the things I'd like to do for the January meeting, and hopefully work with the Municipal Building Committee or the, or the Historical Commissions, have some, some different project funding <coughs> scenarios that we can talk about real numbers um, yeah. to get an idea of sort of what are, what are we asking for here? Are we asking in what amounts? Are we asking for town funds? In what amount under this scenario? If we get the cultural facilities grant, then, then it's going to look like this. If we get the green communities and the cultural facilities, it's going to look like this. If we don't get the cultural facilities, there, there's a lot of variables that are that are moving here. And right. why don't we weigh those out so we can talk about those and okay. try to get an amount of what, what, what a realistic town amount might be. But did, they, did they want? But we talked earlier today an amount to file that application on the 13th. That seems to want us. Uh, it would be it would be a stronger grant application if we had expressed willingness to foot some of the bill, the town, out of maybe cell tower or whatever or yeah. whatever. Right. Okay. Two of those to uh, Fred and John, they dogged the septic system at the town hall. Got the current system approved, which eliminated $105,000. That's awesome. In expense. That's wonderful. Good work. Thanks to both. Outstanding. That's, That's pretty really impressive. impressive. Deal with the post office. So. What about the post office? To see where their septic is. Nobody oh. knows. And Jones wins they, they, they paved over too many septic systems. And we're looking at paving the whole back or that side of the town hall. So, but but get back. Wait till the round process. Okay, but get back to what we started here. That the grant that they're applying for wanted would look better if the town committed funds for the project. Do we? Do they need a dollar amount in that grant to say what we're willing to? Well, I think we'll have to be careful about how we <coughs> about how we word it. I mean, we could we could have a recommendation from the select board that says we support committing these funds because the funds will be committed at town meeting. Um, but we could say that we have X amount of funds available to appropriate for the project. Pending town meeting approval. Pending town meeting approval, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, we want to be very careful about how we right. play our hand but, there. But do we, so do we want to say that if you go with the the building fund that's, I guess, remaining from the cell tower. The, was it 395? I guess if, do we want to put out a figure that using funds that from that uh, that account that is up to 395 today? <coughs> do we want to say that? Much, I don't think we can. Pretty close. I think it's pretty close. Uh, the cell tower? 1.2 minus 8. But do we, eight eight we eight tell them that we have the we have from zero to three. No, because other things have trickled off. I mean, we could tell them that we have it. Yeah. We can explain to them that we have it in an account, but it, it hasn't been committed to the project well, yet. But right. right, but there's other, not that we can spend it, but there's other sources of revenue that we have at our disposal. Right. Well, I think we want to start off significantly vague. Oh, yes. And then, you know, only if pressed, start right. to give actual numbers, right. which or a range of numbers. Yeah. Anyway, we, I think this is, we're discussing, I don't, I don't feel comfortable discussing this at this yeah, point. Yeah, negotiation. Yeah, this is more a negotiation yeah. amongst us that we ought to have more information before discussing in public, is my feeling. Okay. Yeah, but along the same lines, we're, we're talking of, another, of a meeting next week with Brian explained there was a meeting with finance and the historic commission. It's about like schedule, yeah. Funding. It was scheduled for this week, but it's being postponed. And 
I don't exactly know what they're talking about because the building committee hasn't been totally involved in it, but uh, deciding whether, well, the building committee will be there, but whether the select board should be there to see what options are being discussed, presented, if we have any input, or at least well, we should have input on it's an open meeting. Information to know what's being considered. What they're looking Who called for. this meeting? Finance? No, Historic Commission. Historic. But they called the meeting, but they haven't been in, I'm confused. They haven't been involved, but they called the meeting. Well, they have, because we have joint meetings, Building Committee and Historic Commission, commission. meet jointly. Historic Commission is meeting jointly. With finance? Well, no, no, no. Oh, We're meeting fine. jointly at a town hall. They're now. The Historic Commission has kind of been in charge of looking at the oh, financing. Oh, and not building. I, I'm sorry. Okay. And, and they, on their own, went to finance to ask for a meeting to talk about options, I guess, and CPA money, maybe, uh, what's being used, or what is the potential of using CPA money. And I guess I'm bringing up the fact that maybe we should be there as well to hear what's well, going on. Uh, and Why? Okay, I'm a little confused why they meet with finance and not us, but... Well, that's what they chose. The I building mean, committee finance had nothing to do with doesn't determine this. what money should be used yeah. for what projects. We, we just do. determine whether we can afford something. Right. Or they yeah. help. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I think we've started a, a, a very positive trend when it comes to politically charged issues in town to meet with finance on a regular basis. So that's that right. I mean, it really has been positive, and I think, I think Fred, you're right, I think we should try to continue that as much as possible. Yeah. And, and that's being proposed, or do you have a date next week, or I, you don't have a date yet? I, I, know, I know very little. I well, assume this would be a nighttime yeah. meeting? Uh, I believe so. I, I, I don't know. So. Well, we need to find out and, and be informed, because yeah. I, I agree. I think we yeah. need to keep the communication. I, I don't think anything has been scheduled, definitely, for next week. I thought Don I said heard. Some, well, I thought she said something. When's the twenty second? Was it that's a week from Thursday? Twenty second, Thursday. Thursday. Thursday, possibly. I thought I heard that date oh, okay. tossed around. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Oh, okay. Keep abreast. That's all I have. Okay. Motion. Second. All right. Thank you, everybody. Okay.